this is gonna be see that see that that's from years of raging that is but yeah cover that up this is gonna be the next in the series of the fundamentals videos um, and one technique that I find is quite enjoyable and is quite dear to my heart we're gonna look at the side swing <laughs> guys hope you're well good to see you once again uh, we're going into the third video in this series of fundamental training techniques and today is side swing day national side swing day it's not national side swing day but today's a day we're going through the side swing um, I love this technique as I'm sure you know if you've been following my stuff I do it all the time um, I love it for its versatility um, it's very good when you're learning new more advanced techniques okay you can use it to work on your timing and just to get the brain in tune with a new technique so um yeah side swings haven't got a bad thing to say about them uh quick heads up in this video i did have a few camera issues so i've had to do this tutorial in two parts so in the first part of this video you're going to have me demonstrating and talking you through the technique but compared to the second part it's quite brief in the second part, when I'd sorted out all the camera problems, I was able to go into further detail. So you'll see that it will be broken right down and you'll have a voiceover to guide you through in that case as well. So lots of info here. Um, if you have a look at this video once and you can't digest it all at once, that's absolutely fine. Just take another look if you need to. Um, if you need a little pointer to help you master your side swings, um that's enough rambling from me i think let us crack into the video now enjoy i love the side swing because one it's a good resting technique to do when you don't want to do as much jumping two it's very good for improving your timing when you want to advance up to tougher techniques you can use it to work on the rhythm for said technique and three it just looks cool and everybody loves stuff that looks cool but anyway, I'm rambling now. Let's do our side swings. First off, we're going to start with the regular side swing. With the side swing, one hand leads. And this is actually the case with a lot of other techniques, including crossovers and such. One hand will lead and one will follow. The lead hand will always be on the top. So it's best to start with your stronger hand as a lead hand. So I'm right-handed. So I'm going to demonstrate the regular side swing with my right hand leading. Okay, that's right handed side swing. Eventually, when you get comfortable enough leading with your stronger hand, I always recommend working on your weaker hand as the lead hand immediately. This just makes you, you a more balanced um, athlete, a more balanced rope athlete, so uh, bear that in mind. But I'm gonna break down that right handed side swing into detail. Ideally, you wanna start off with the two rope handles facing forwards, away from your chest, stronger hand, is on top, weaker hand is at the bottom, like so. And as you swing, you wanna move from left to right, left to right. So again, so I'll start really slowly and then speed up. Nice and slow to start off with, and then you can speed up. your side swing with the right hand so after you've done that follow the same steps to do it with the left hand 
and you're good to go. From then, you can work on transitioning between your right hand and your left hand. Um, but for now, just work on that. I'll work on that transition with you guys in a future video. I'd say just begin with some single unders, some regular skipping. You know, this is just to get the momentum of the rope going, get the rope moving. Um, this will help you to just transition into the side swing pretty easily. Once you get more advanced, you can power your side swings from a still dead rope. Kind of like, think of it as when you're learning to ride a bike, you know? You need someone to just give you that push and then you can pedal away and carry on going. This is pretty much, pretty much the same as learning to ride a bike. Okay, my voice is getting really high pitched now. But that's just for emphasis. Now, the side swing really cannot be any simpler than this. As I mentioned before, you have your lead hand and you have your following hand. While you're doing your regular skipping, you have one hand either side. You wanna take one hand to join up with the other, okay? The best way to do this is to take your following hand to join up with your lead hand because you need both hands on one side to start the side swing. It doesn't matter if it's your left or your right, it really just depends on which hand is dominant for you. So, I'm right-handed. My lead hand is my right hand. So I will need my follower hand to just come over and buddy up with my right hand. While jumping, my right hand stays where it is and the left hand just comes over and joins it in position beneath the right hand. Okay, so you have your lead hand on top in position, your follower hand is underneath in its correct position. From there, you have your first swing. The rope is no longer traveling around the body, so you have to jump over it. It's now traveling at the side of the body. So what you do now to transition into your next swing is you bring both hands across, okay? Making sure to keep them pointing away from the body at all times. Bring them both across, and then you should have both hands on the other side. Right hand is still on top, the lead hand, and the follower hand is still underneath, okay? And from there, you just carry on, keep going across and across and across. And as you progress, the key is to experiment. Push your limits, try things out. Experiment with combinations, experiment with different speeds, different jumps. And this is the key to just progressing with your training. Trying to think out of the box and try some new things. Um, there are various combinations and various uses for the side swing. For now, thanks for watching. We're just going to head into a quick outro now and summarize the points made in this video. So in three, two, one. Okay guys, thanks for that. If you've made it this far, it means you were able to tough through the awkward two tutorials in one video situation and um, I hope you're able to take the benefit from it. Uh, this was really just an introduction into the side swing. There will be more videos on this going forward because as I've said probably about 10 times, it's a very versatile technique and it can be used for much more than you might think. In the next video, we're looking at our footwork. Very important. Everything from jumping, foot positioning, rhythm, I'd say most of my injuries that I picked up in my earlier stages of my training were down to poor footwork and jumping technique. So I've learned the hard way. So I'm gonna pass on what I've learned to you guys because I love you so much. But all jokes aside, it's very important that we're conscious of the way we're jumping. If we wanna keep our training up long-term, you know, if you're here for a good time and not a long time, then that's fine, do what you want. But if you want to skip long term, get the most out of your training and not pick up any niggly injuries, we need to talk about footwork. It's important. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comments. Uh, if there's anything you want me to go through in particular in future videos, do so in the comments. Uh, if you had anything good to say about the video or anything bad to say, do so in the comments. I'm equally glad to hear both of those opinions. Uh, just speak to me. Until next time, take care and all the best with your training.
funny, funny fact. When I actually learned to do the side swing, um, I didn't actually consciously train on doing it. it I was just skipping one time and like, I don't know, my inner wisdom, my inner Zen wisdom sort of took over and just said, do this with your arms. And I sort of did it and it was like, it feels good. So I repeated it and I did it again and again. And that's how actually I learned most of the stuff that I do with my rope. It's mainly just, you know, just going off um, into a nice quiet space like this and just spending time with the rope, training with it, um, experimenting and seeing what comes of it. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Let's do our side swings.